everyone, this is Shishi coming on today to share with you an AliExpress haul. So first up, I'm sharing this panda bear. So adorable. It was really easy to cut out. Uh, even though there's like not any holes in the set, um, the, the paper did come out just fine. So I was really surprised even though there's like little pieces. Um, it popped out just fine. So I was um, happy with that set. Um, everything from this haul comes from a store called KS Craft. It, it is a PayPal seller. So I do have some information at the end of this video um, about PayPal if you want to stay tuned. So um, I also used um, these uh, cute enamel hearts. I shared this in a previous video, but I did not show how I used them. So I'm going to share how it was used in this video. I'll link them in the description box below if you want to pick them up after you see how it was used on my card. So here is the card that I made. Um, my little panda's holding a heart. So pretty and I love the colors. They're so bright. This is one of my favorite colors, this royal blue. And um, in case anyone wanted to know, from my previous video, I bought a lot of glitter cardstock. This is how I am using it. I love glitter now, and I used a lot of glitter in this haul. So, um, a lot of people wanted to know how I was going to use it, and they couldn't wait to see what I created. This is what I have been creating with my glitter cardstock. So, this is the first one. And then um, I have a lot of these glitter sprinkles I shared in a previous video I am using them now so I'm going to show you how I use these um, sugar sprinkle enamel dots so if you're interested in getting this I'm going to link it again because I did use them on a lot of my cards that I'm sharing today so the next set I'm sharing is this llama very very cute and people wanted to know how I was going to use this paper punch that I just purchased. So I'm using it on this llama card. So I made it um, a female llama. So this is how I used it. And I used the little sugar sprinkles right here in the corner. And I think she turned out really, really cute. So um, I hope you like this card. So I thought she was adorable. Um, next is this... Um, Cat Witch, uh, she's going trick-or-treating, and I made a boo card. So uh, what I did was I did use a die from another set that I'm about to share. Um, she's holding a trick-or-treat jack-o'-lantern um, basket, and I uh, used the sugar sprinkles again in the corner, these three little dots. They're so cute. And... Uh, this is the glitter cardstock that I'm using again. I really, really love it. And she's made out of glitter too. So as you can see, I'm using my glitter paper. So um, the set cut out really nice. I didn't have any problems. And I really love how this turned out. So really, really shiny and festive for this Halloween season. So the next set I want to share, it's an interesting set. It's a, I want to say it's a acorn ghost. I don't know. I used it as both an acorn and a ghost. And this is the little jack-o'-lantern trick-or-treat basket that I used on the, uh, with the cat. But I used it again to make this next card. It's really adorable. So my two little trick-or-treaters, um, one's dressed as a, a acorn and... I thought um, since it's two pieces, you can make it also a ghost. So um, I just have them two, the two little trick or treaters going door to door. I have both of them on here. So if you want to make it a ghost, you can, or you can make it an acorn. So the card is just trick or treat, and then here's those little sugar um, enamel dots right there in the corner and they're glitter so love that and hope you like that card on um, the next one is a reindeer really really cute and I use this um, it's like a shaker frame you can use it as a shaker frame or a frame I used it as a frame again I didn't use it as a shaker yet I will probably 
in the future. But um, I have my little reindeer coming out of the frame. And I made a Merry Christmas card. He's so adorable. And um, I used my glitter again. Made it really, really shiny and festive. Everything's just popping out glitter. So really, really nice there. And um, again, this is where the frame is that he's coming out of. And that's the reindeer, how it looks. Okay, and then the last few sets, I didn't make cards, but um, this is the, the die. It's a flower. Really, really pretty. And then um, I used this torn edge set that I shared before. I really like it. I love how it makes your cards look. So I just put it on this right here and I didn't add a sentiment on it but this is how it turned out so it could possibly be a sympathy card or thinking of you but um, I love how this looks you know together so that's an idea and then next is this um, little uh, stocking set it has a little snowman and a like a little present and then there's like some little leaves and uh, foliage kind of stuff I didn't cut these pieces out but you can use that in the set if you want and this is how it looks when you cut it out so I haven't had a chance to um, make a card with it but I just wanted to cut it out so you can see how it looks okay so that's that and then the last set I want to share is this tag set you can make it into a shaker or you can make different tags uh, the top layers and cut them off and do different things it has a bow and then these are the little shaker windows you can make it a square or a circle or you have different um, areas where you can uh, string your twine through you can have different slits for it so it's a really nice set to have so I just showed um, the different cuts of how it cuts out you have this plain edge or you can do this topper like that or you could do this one right here so different edges so here are the three different edges that you can do for different styles or you can do this one a top and a bottom you know and just have one um, a sentiment and do that you know so you can do different looks and have two of the same edges and make a sentiment like that or um, you know or layer labels you know so I mean you can do so much with that set and again it has a bow so you can have extra bow in your set but anyway again I'll link those um, items that I shared in this video in the description box below now if you stay tuned I wanted to share with you um, I had a whole bunch of questions about um, difficulties checking out with PayPal I wanted to say that um, if you're checking out with PayPal, you have to check out one seller at a time. And if you have any non-PayPal um, sellers in your entire cart, you can't check out at once. So um, that's the whole thing with PayPal. You can only check out with the one seller through PayPal. And if you're checking out with other sellers that have PayPal, you can't do it like one order like that it has to be one seller at a time and you can check out with PayPal so I hope that answers your questions about you know checking out with PayPal um, that's just my experience with it um, so if you have any other questions or comments you can leave them in the description box below again links for the products I shared are in the description box below um, actually the questions or comments can go in the comment section below so take care and i hope you have a fabulous day